Jeremiah 31 verse 28. Inafanya hii. Inasema inafanya. Pastor. Now it's working. And it shall come to pass that as I have watched over them to pluck up, to break down, to throw down, to destroy, and to afflict, so I will watch over them to build and to plant, says the Lord. Um, Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 10. See, I have this day set you over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out, to pull down, to destroy, and to throw down, to build and to plant. This is the Lord telling them, as Jeremiah starts, he tells them, I'm the one who is sending you to do so. But then he comes on 30, 31 verse 28 to, to, to tell them, now I'm standing as you do it. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. I'm standing as you do it. 2 Corinthians 10 verse 3 to 6. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not walk according to the flesh. Verse 4. For the weapons of our welfare are not carnal, but mighty in God for pulling down strongholds. Casting down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. Verse number 6. And being ready to punish all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. I like that last verse because there is a punishment. But you're going to be ready to punish all disobedience if you obey. If you have obedience with you. Heavenly Father, speak to us in the shortest time possible and may that word that you have for your people come down into our spirit and into our hearts in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, everybody? Amen. Amen. When I was thinking about uh, this a couple of weeks ago, I landed into somebody called Bill, Bill uh, Lobes. Bill Lobes has written, he, he, he writes, he preaches, but he also writes articles. And um, I got into his nuggets, some, some of the truths that he has uh, written, so that uh, those that are here and they Google a lot, what I share with you, you'll Google it and find what I'm telling you through. Okay? You know, I don't sitai kukutisha at nini ndio nimefikiria. Hapana, tao kuambia kuna mtu alifikiria. Mimi nimechukua tu ili nikwambie. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. In the book of 2nd uh, Chronicles and chapter 20, something is happening here and Jehoshaphat, the servant of the Almighty God, he, 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 he wants to go to battle and he's preparing people to go to battle. He's ready for battle. He's ready for war. Bless the name of the Lord. And as he prepares to go to war, he gets to a place where we always quote about uh, believing in God. Because one of the things that he's telling the people that he's going with is that first of all, let's believe in God. Because our success cannot come from anywhere else. We cannot, there is no foundation, better foundation than the foundation of our God. But he also tells them, but if you want us to prosper today, you also have to believe me. Remember, this God is sending him to do something different. Not just to fight, fight, but worship, fight, to praise, fight. In other words, there is a way I can fight some battles that are not uh, the, the normal way to fight battles. The Lord is giving us the grace He's making us people that can pull down, people that can destroy. He's calling us to do the destruction, actually. And I know and I told you, and I still believe that if this church would pray the groups that we grouped ourselves, if we can group ourselves again and we have people praying every day and talking to one, to one another every day, one day Al-Shabaab and Al-Qaeda will be a thing of the past. But I know we get weary. But I know we cannot pull down Al-Shabaab with any other, even with the conventional weapons. Because they don't know how to face you. They only know how to kukufizia. Yani, wanajua tu kukuhithira. 
they, they don't know how to come face to face. You know, there are those people that, uh, I don't know whether I told you here that I had, uh, when I was growing up, there's some the business that I used to do, and where I used to do the business, there were two people that every Friday had to fight. Every Friday had to fight. One was a, a builder, a bodybuilder. His name was Kemani, not myself, but he was a bodybuilder. And he was, he had real, you know the people, akifanya hivi, unana kifuwa kinatoka hivi, na kinatatemeka hivi kidogo. Kwa sabi ya maso, that kind of a guy. The, 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 the stage in Thika, some of the, the asbestos that um, were ro the roofs around uh, where you wait for the buses, he had to punch them. He would punch them when he gets annoyed. And the thing would uh, crack. That's how strong he was. But then there was another guy. Uh, this other guy was called Mohammed. Mohammed was a boxer. But every Friday they fought. The rest of the people, we were not fighting. We were good people. We were friends. But these two, every Friday, they had to fight. Now, what Muhammad used to do is to make sure, hashikwi. Kwa sababu akishikwa. Hey, atatokwa na machozi. So what he would do, he would hit him running. Gonga na toroka, gonga na toroka. Of course, occasionally, alikuwa na shikwa. Kapisa, but every Friday, they would fight. But for us as Christians, actually, our battles are every day. We fight every day. Every time you wake up from bed, you start the struggle of fighting, fighting for yourself, fighting for your family, fighting for your children, fighting for what you believe. There are battles, all kinds of battles. Actually, I don't know a family that wakes up and just wakes up. Wah. You wake up, actually, some of you wake up and the issue of school fees hit you hard. You, thank God you slept. Thank God he gave you sleep. But when you wake up, you remember, I, there is school fees. Right now, there are some of us who are seeing house rent. Because... 24th in Ileo. So there, there are battles that we fight. And we fight them every day. We fight them every day. And may God help us to know as we fight, we don't just fight aimlessly. We fight with a name. We fight with a purpose. We fight with a purpose. Now Bill Lobbs tries to, to, to define strongholds. But first of all, there is a scripture. There are two scriptures that I think are very paramount to us. The good news in Jesus is this. Jesus came with an anointed and appointed ministry. And his ministry was to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prisons to them that are bound. And that is the same ministry that you and I have been called into. The second thing is found in John 10.10. 10. In the NIV says, the thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. But Jesus says, I have come that they might have life and have the full life. The purpose that what God desires for you is to have a full life. Tell your neighbor full life. But for us to understand full life, then we'll have to come back and understand what is this thing that I have to, to pull down. So Bill has something that he's talking about in pulling down. A stronghold, he says. A stronghold is an area where spiritual darkness reigns. A stronghold is an area where spiritual darkness reigns. Spiritual darkness exists where there is the absence of spiritual truth. Psalms 119 verse 130 says, The, en the entrance of thy words giveth light it giveth understanding to the simple. Now, the, where there is no the word of God, where there is no truth, then wickedness exists. If there is the slightest area of our lives where the light of truth has not shone, that is the place where the enemy takes advantage. So we need to shine the gospel in every area. Watch out, we can touch. Ya neno la mungu wa mfuko yako. Kwa sababu watu, 
wanaokoganga mambo mingi lakini wanakataa kuogoka kwa mvuko na, na mambo mengine kadhalika there are many other things that people refuse to allow the blood of Jesus to get control over an area where spiritual darkness reigns secondly if anything in us strong enough to keep us from becoming like Christ in an area of life in an area of life now that becomes a stronghold in other words what I'm saying is this stronghold can be anything that is so strong and I want to declare there is nothing that is strong enough you have just allowed it you have just allowed it when we went to Eldoret during Christmas the driver that was carrying us we were talking because I was in front you know when you sit in front you have to keep on talking I don't know why maybe to encourage the driver or sing to him so that he can drive so if you are a driver never allow someone who can't sing or talk to sit next to you because they will cause you to sleep if you are carrying people let a talker come there actually mtu watu story let him be there but you know I'm not a guy of a story but the driver is a guy of a story all what you need to do is say my head you and after the reason swali moja swali moja tu when we were when we when we were getting there we landed with a, a cabinet minister so we landed and all of them greeted him and uh, greeted him so of course he knew we knew we saw him so the first place we, we entered he said na na hapa kote hapa kote ni kwa huyo mheshimiwa au tukasema ni mheshimiwa mzuri anapasua mashamba anapasulia watu mashamba because they were plots there that was henry was there but when we were putting a corner we were getting into a corner i don't know where this topic came from he said you see this fence of the dorit polytechnic was it polit no no dorit technical institute yeah it was technical institute this is the fence there if somebody is chasing you a lion you will not think twice you will be wondering next how you jumped but this fence will be too small for you because the idol within you will cause something to happen and you'll just go Pew! and i thought help me something because on a normal 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 situations <laughs> i can't it's that that something is so big but but you see anything that is strong enough to refuse you to become all what christ wants you to be that is a stronghold whether it is money or family or land or anything if it is that strong then it is becoming a strong word and i want to declare to you today there is nothing actually the bible tells us there is nothing too hard i also want to say there is nothing too difficult and i want to say there is nothing that strong that it should hinder us from knowing our god the word stronghold in greek means a hard place it refers to a place in the battlefield that is the name treatment of a fortress you know if you come from machakos machakos was a fort you people from moranga moranga was fort hall you people from kabete there was a fort something there near kabete jean school all these forts were for what purpose it's where the muzungu and his guards would live and it is normally a strong hard place for Jesus for example for us that go to Mombasa was a fort where the the the, the portuguese would go in if the arabs were attacking them it is first to a place in a battlefield any place there is fixed set of ideas any place there of, of a fixed set of ideas a mindset thoughts and behavior in conflict with the revealed truth that becomes a stronghold any thoughts or behavior that puts you down it becomes a stronghold number 3 a command post from which the enemy works in surrounding areas is a stronghold a command post and you know a command post is a place where the commander throws his command out a command post 
He may not have jurisdiction in other areas, but from the place where ideas are accepted, he can exert influence over nearby areas of the human psyche. Second Corinthians 2 and verse 11, lest the sh Satan should gain an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. We are not ignorant. First Peter 5, 8, be sober, be vigilant, because you are adversary the devil, as a rolling lion walketh about, seeking who he may devour. That's the devil. So we might be sober. We must be vigilant. At your fact, Bishop Mark also likes this statement. He says this, the kingdom of God suffers and the violent. Brother, sister, you, nobody wants you to be saved. Nobody desires your Christianity. But for you to be saved, the kingdom of God and the things of God, it, you have to be violent a little bit. You have to be violent, brother, my sister. You have to be violent. Number four is the thought pattern. A thought pattern is a stronghold. A thought pattern alien to the word of God is a stronghold. One commentator defines a stronghold as a house made of thoughts. So a house made of thoughts. When people come to the Lord, their fight with the Lord is over. But their fight with the devil is not over. You don't struggle with the Lord anymore. He becomes... He is on your side, but your battle with the devil just starts or is kicked. The battle now ranges for control of the thought life. Actually, the devil, he is not concerned about my property. That's what I discovered. The devil is not after my property. The devil is after my thought life. Thought life. Thought life. Thought life. If he can mess my thoughts, then he can mess me. And you know what I'm talking about. He takes your thought and you wonder. You might, sometimes you even wonder if I was a bird, like now, when my pocket is empty, and I fly into cooperative bank inside like this. <laughs> and then I come with a, a note of 1,000 like this. Oh, thought life. Thought life. You see, the, the devil, oh, what, oh, what the devil... If you, are, if you want to be a good Christian, resist the devil on your thoughts. Resist him. Because the devil has a way of, of trying to tell you, even the spouse that you have had for 30, 40, 50 years, at an Nimbai. That life. Why? Because in your mind you are comparing them with other people. But I've always said, the work that has been done by Kimani to Alice, or the work that has been done to Kimani by Alice. And then the devil puts a thought. No, Shindwe. So guard your thoughts. Protect your thought. Because like that commentator says, it's like a house full of thoughts. The new life then requires a disciplined mind. God expects a complete shift in thinking. Let this mind be new, which was in Christ Jesus, Philippians 2.5. The last thing in the world that Satan wants and he hates and he wants to receive is a renewed mind. Because a renewed mind produces change. And the devil does not want me changed. When I got saved because I was a chain smoker, even the people that knew me, the students that we were with them in high school, they could not believe I have gotten saved <coughs> until I don't smoke. I know there are people who struggle with smoking and many other things, but brother, let me tell you, as you receive the Christ by faith, you can also resist anything else by faith. So I said no to it. And I tell you, why do I make a cigar? cigara? Headache. Can I talk here? If you want to go to the house, you can go to the house. I say,
Yani zote, the, the smell itself. When you have a basi, but you can tell all the smell. Ah, that one is five, five, five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But when inside you, you are saying, I said, no. Just like I received Christ in faith, I also said, no. But you might think it was easy. I got saved eight times. <laughs> it is on the eighth time that the Lord gave me the victory. May the Lord give you victory on your first time. So the eighth time I kicked it out and everything and my life really changed. The last thing that the, the devil wants and the hates is a renewed mind. Number five, we, we are looking at the petition and Bill, Bill, Bill says this. It's a place where the enemy's thoughts seem more credible than our thoughts of God's thoughts. In other words, a stronghold is where mambo ya shetani yanaoneka mazuri yanaoneka. Yani they appear to be so good. Do you know sometimes Christianity can be boring? But the person who gets bored, where does they get bored? Where? Because if I decide Christianity is exciting, I'll come for the Solemn assembly. And I'll be excited the whole day. Kneel, stand, walk, eat, drink some water. But I'll be so excited about the solemn assembly. Oh, there is a game. Oh, Manchester is playing. I have to. If my thought life is exciting, I will also be an excited Christian. Are there some excited Christian in the house? Yes. Because it is not boring to love the Lord. It is exciting. Now some of us even get shy to say praise the Lord nowadays again. You know there was a time it was the, the talk, praise the Lord. Actually you would meet and say someone from the other side, Hallelujah brother! And everybody would stop. We used to have an elder here in this church. When we got to know each other in the 70s, he was a student at MTC. That guy, you know him, Baba, Baba Muli, Masika. Masika was one of these gorillas. That if you met at Moy Avenue and you're on that side and he's on this side and you are not seeing him, he will shout at you, What pastor? And then we will come and we were not greeting each other, Evie. And then we will go, Pa, 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 pa. Why? Because we are in the Go and go on and we. But I am going. Hey, you know. And we are not saying here that we are going to be a Polish. 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 Because there was excitement. I pray that God is going to excite us afresh in the last days. So that we can fight that thought life. It is exciting to be a Christian. It's just like to be married, you know. There are some people who talk about, oh, marriage is boring, marriage is boring, marriage is boring, marriage is boring, marriage is boring. Let me tell you, it is all. There are some men here who are so excited in their marriage. Back at the time, they say, guy, why is marriage here to be like this? Because they have just purpose to enjoy themselves. Because the world is not a good thing. May you enjoy the marriage that God has given you. Make it exciting. Kaumbi. Make it exciting, man. Make it exciting, man. Make it exciting. Amua. Now I'm Jao Amuoe. Because I'm Doa Nizuri. That's exciting. I'm Musiye Dembali. Wako area. But I tell you there is nothing as exciting as marriage. Oh my goodness. Ask Catherine for one week how it was. 
watu wa kwanza kufika airport alikuwa kazi alikwenda kumchukua mama wake na alikuwa tu Ethiopia sio mbali hapa tu Bombe but I had cousin in talk with uh, Rebecca as they climbed up to to I had you I'm I'm going to I'm going to I'm now ask here told Rebecca yes I was there no I like that may your marriage be exciting yes. but remember the battle that you have to conquer is where because you see the statement that beautiful ones are being uh, born it's all here Wanileo ninahubiri habari ya ndoa. It's all here. Kwa sababu ingine pasta, asante pasta. Kwa sababu ingine pasta. Hata kile umepanga kuhubiri saa ingine kinaendaga kinapotea. But I'm still defining. We are still sijaanza kuhubiri hata labda leo sitahubiri. Just defining I'm saying a place where the enemy thoughts seem more credible than our thoughts for God. That is a stronghold. In other words, if, I'm, if for example this is a year of great overflow and a thought that says otherwise contrary to what God says that's a stronghold you need to put it under your feet in the mighty name of Jesus if the Lord says I'm going to overflow with hell and then the devil the another thought says I don't have to use it did you know why we killed the warfare here when we had warfare here? Because some of us said, Kwetu wakukufagwi, brother, I would rather kusikufuwe, this idea wala wame kufiwu. Are you hearing me? Ah, nime, I will not ensure because I wangu wakuibagwi, apana, I will ensure, hini wala wanaibi yako, sitai kuibiwe kwangu, wala wanaibi yako wasaidiwe. I know some of you, uh, now wondering, Bishop Tendo Mengi Ejuarans. But it is the whole truth actually. It is the whole truth. The truth is, I know God will take care of me. So having an insurance uh, it does not mean I doubt him. No, 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 no. I'm just saying I'm ready. But I don't have to. You know the struggle that some people struggle. Mwaka unaenda kuisha, I insured a hundred thousand. I have to make sure I spend it. Sasa utaspenda mna nani. Utachukua mashishio uvunje maratatu. Ili ukivunje unaenda unachukua ingine. Lafu unavunje unaenda unachukua ingine. Hai. Ama utafanya vitu zako zibiwe. Kama hapa chati tufanya iti. Itatu zibiwa ili. Insurance watu ni. You will not. As a place where... In Ephesians 4.27, Paul warns, neither give place to the devil. Don't give him place. This warning makes it clear that the Christian can admit the enemy to a place in his or her life and should constantly be on guard, lest it happens. Let's not allow a thought that is contrary to what God says about me. Because since Satan cannot touch our wheels, he works on something that influences our will and that is our thoughts. And a worker. Buy and buy and buy and buy. He does this by the power of suggestions. He is ever ready with endless suggestions of the thought life. This is how he exercises dominion in our Christian life and they, how he influences us. And that's how his influence continues to be a stronghold because he being suggestions. I told you last Sunday the devil is not concerned about how much. I have heard about God. But he is concerned about that word of God directed to me. That one. And I told you the story of Jesus and the devil. The devil only wanted to tempt Jesus. And he's asking him the same question. If you are the son of God. So brother, if you are asking if you are a man, must you prove you are a man and you are a man? I mean I am. What else do I need to do to be a man? I am just a man. Man enough. Yes, I'm man enough. I don't have to do anything else to prove I'm a man. Suggestions. Thought life. Thought life. Sat Satan is the master of suggestions. He had several thousands here practice in using them. He knows 
it is one of the greatest means of motivating people to do or not to do something. Suggestions. His knowledge of human weaknesses helps him to design suggestions, especially fitted to each individual. For a pastor, the suggestions are different. For you, the suggestions will be different. In other words, the temptations that come to me are different than yours. They are temptations though. They are temptations though. Bless the name of the Lord. When he deposits a suggestion, it is sent into a thought life as an idea. A small idea. Could, could your wife be the one that is making you poor? Could, could paying parallel for your daughter, for your son, make, is the one making you poor? It was a suggestion. He's not saying directly, Kupereka mtoto, iyo shule di umekwanya poor. You know, there's a school, there's a school that appeared on the television. Very nice. Mwalimu kwanza anafutisha paka ni kafikiria saa university zikini tafanya ni. Anaguza tu pale kwa speed, anafuta kitu. But I was waiting for the cost. <laughs> the cost per term is a hundred and fifty. Eh, ne eh. Paka hundred and fifty. Sisi ambao tuna hiyo ni fees ya mtoto university. See your high school. But anyway, a suggestion, an idea. Could this be? Could that be? Could you be poor because you are born black? <laughs> could it be? Could they be poor because your village is called karate? Could it be? You know, suggestions. That, until you want to be born in Kirito. See, every time we pass Kirito when we were children, we were children. Nafikiria ni nyasi imekatwa vizuri huko. Umbe sio nyasi ni majani chai. But anyway, the point is, I am blessed. And the devil knows I am blessed. And he wants to interfere with my thought life. Oh my goodness. And this is the reason the word of the Lord says, bringing every thought into captivity and unto the obedience of Christ. Every thought, every thought should be under. I want to finish in the next two minutes. We'll continue next time. But I want to finish by saying these things because I think if you get this, it might help you a little in understanding this. The longer a stronghold is allowed to remain, the more difficult it is to deal with it. I say again, the more you allow a stronghold to remain, you allow it to remain, the more difficult it is to deal with it. Because of four things. And then we'll pick it next time. First, if you allow a stronghold to remain for too long, we begin to make excuses for it. Are we hearing what I'm saying? You have allowed that stronghold to remain, so you start excusing yourself over it. It becomes if the excuse that you give everywhere. Come and see he. You have allowed a stronghold. And I'm talking to people who have allowed something to remain for too long. Fight it. Put it under your feet. If it was not this, you keep on excusing yourself. Unajua, unajua kama siyo. Unajua, wei kapisa kama siku. Kama siyo hiyo dini nipata. Maisha yangu ike kwa tofatu. Don't excuse yourself. Go back to school. I took pastors from Bomek for a, for a diploma. And some of them finished. Now they are going in for a master's. I mean for a degree. Why? Because you can change that. Change it. Don't give an excuse. That's not true. They feel a two-siku. They feel a shule. They feel a shule. For Rudy Tena Soma. Rudy Tena Soma. You know there are some of you that are so good. Me I love some of you. Some of you I love you so much. You know why I love you? Because of your resilience. At your account, na kuagusha mara ine, mara tano, mara sita, mara saba, mara nane. Na bado unasema, he 
lazima nitafanya tena kwanza hiyo masipie siju masipie masipie kuna moja inagogaba watu kuna my sister moja aligongwa mara nyingi na yule mdogo wake anakuja tu amepita chua naye akasema will not excuse it mpaka naye akaisaksii what i'm saying is in this year of 2016 refuse to stay put in the same place and refuse to give an excuse ati kama ningeishi mudaiga acha na mudaiga bwana kwanza kaa pale unaishi uende ukikua pole 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 kwa sababu za unaruka unaenda mudaiga kwa nini ati if i could get a mercedes no 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 pata toyota kareka dogo kareka ka fix kidogo kwanza nimesikia kuna kingine kanatoka 500 dunua hiyo By the way, usinunue gari mpya kama ni gari yako ya kwanza. Nunua zee kidogo, kongecha kidogo, kupiga round. After that one year use. Ndio kuna wengine unanunua gari mpya unagongo, unagongesha, mpaka unasikia vibaya huko kwa sababu njua inazidikana. Am I helping you? Don't give an excuse. Some of you excuse you imekuumiza sana. Oh, I will never get this love again why because somebody broke your heart oh but to god at at what the world and some more because of this one chendo are you hearing what i'm saying dress up you know wash yourself clean yourself esther was told not not esther ruth was told by naomi utipake mafuta na uvae nguo yako ile best take your best alafu ende urare kwa migutu jamaa kiamuka akasikia marashi nani huyu oh ni servant yako vuruta kamba nifunike you are next of my kinman kutoka pale upendo ukaanza jamaa ndiye alimwambia vile atafanya wakikataa kukuridim na kuridimu there is someone who wants to redeem you my sister but you have to lazima utoe hiyo nguo fight your best na smile uirudishe na ukanyange kama wewe ndio yeye. Na wewe ndugu pia, ndugu haijaandikwa hapa. Oh pastor, sisters watano wa church moja, tena zima. Nikiepu anakata, ni anakata. Maybe what all what you need dress up. Tipige odoruno kidogo. 2016 I'm going to have what God says I will have and I will go for it. So we begin by excusing ourselves. The second thing we justify it. Ah, kweli kabisa. Si ni sana mimi ni stupid. Think I am. Mimi ni bongorara. Wali sema, mwalimu akasema, mama akasema hata pastor nilisikia akihubiri ni kama mimi alikuwa akihubiri. You get to a place to justify the situation. Please, if you want to move into this great year of great overflow, don't justify where you are. Keep on moving. Bless the name of the Lord. Don't excuse it. Don't justify it. Anza, songa mbele. After justifying it, the third thing, you make it legal. You legalize it. And how do you legalize it? Si umefanya excuse. Si ume justify. Sasa ku legalize ni kusema there is nothing else I can do. Actually mimi sasa ni Kristo akuje tena na ipigwe. Yangu kwisha. Now I like for those that came to Moja, I like the statement that Bishop brought forward several times. He said that the thing that is so blessed about us is that God is holding us by his right victorious hands. Yeah! God, my hand! Kwanza hii ya mwisho ndiyo mbaya. After we legalize it, now we defend it. We fight for it. Hata unaweza ubiri mambo kama haya. Na badu we uko thate, sijuli na atafai, na ubiri mambo kama haya 
Wacha nisimbiri. Hiyo mambo kwa sababu hiyo mambo sio mazuri. But I'm saying you cannot fight for it. Don't fight for your poverty. Don't fight for your sickness. Don't fight for your losses. Don't fight for the things that you don't have. Don't excuse yourself, don't justify yourself, don't legalize yourself, and don't fight for it. Allow God to fight the battle for you because that becomes a stronghold. There are some of us actually, your stronghold is nikitu kidogo. Ni karatasi ulipewa ulipo maliza. Na imekuweka pale huko. Kuna hoteli tuliingia. Tuliingia hoteli moja. Na nitamwambia hiyo hoteli. Lakini kwanza niwaambie mwenyewe. Mwenyewe alikuwa ameajiriwa kazi ya kuchunga mbuzi na ngombe. Kwa sababu darasa lake lile alijaribu kusoma ni standard 2. Kuchunga nini? Na kukamua mazingu. Alipo graduate, akaanza kuuza mare kwa mare. Mare kwa mare. Mare, chuba na ndebe. Chuba na ndebe. Chuba na ndebe. Mare kwa mare. That guy is the owner of Nocras Hotel and all the Magunando supermarket. And I saw him with my eyes. A guy. Did you come up? Let me say, give him. Can you say, Hiri, I'm the Elevan. Did you want to be a body of a more remote? I told you the second service last time. We will nigh the SID in our act. So you come to another beck and a Mambia Cassia. That the car which is in the red million year, the car million year. I know what the car million year. They know at the Keneo Cassie. Aya, negere rangi. Yapewa rangi. Hata atui kama meandikuwa vizuri. Kini ya meamini. That's how that person can be. But a rich, rich, rich. Yani, rich. Kukamua ngombe. Are kwa mare. And that's why I want to say this to you. Hakuna mtu mahali ya lipo. Wili kabisa ame korogeo. And you can decide from kukamua. Mare kwa mare, tumagunandos. Hallelujah. Pasta chukua ibada yako. Wacha tuendele. Na usisa au.